Hello, my name is Ryan. Welcome back to another RC Calculator video. Now in this video, we are going to be talking about the fan swept area on an electric ducted fan jet. What we're primarily interested in is calculating that exit diameter of our electric ducted fan jet. So let's get started. One of the first things that you'll need to do is go ahead and grab yourself the fan that you are interested in. And once you have that, you need some sort of measuring device. Now I have calipers with me today that gives me a digital readout. You don't need to use calipers with a digital readout. You can simply use a ruler. As long as that ruler measures to the nearest millimeter or even sixteenth of an inch if you work in the imperial system, that is going to be good enough for this calculation. So let's get started. I'm going to grab the calipers and I'm looking for two dimensions off of this fan. I'm going to be looking for first the inner diameter of the outer case. So I'm looking for the innermost dimension of the case, the outer case that you have here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my calipers and I'm going to unlock them so I can move the calipers out. And then I'm going to grab this dimension inside. Now I'm using an E-Flight 69 millimeter fan unit here. And it measures with an inner diameter on the case of 69.4 millimeters. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. However, this time what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the outer diameter of this hub area. Therefore, the difference between those two measurements is exactly where the fan sweeps the air by the... Uh, the hub itself. So let's go ahead and grab that dimension. I'm going to grab it on the back side. So the dimension that I'm grabbing here is 30.7 millimeters. So now that we have those two dimensions, we can now take those dimensions and insert it into the calculator in order for it to calculate uh, the exit diameter based on what percentage we want in terms of our fan swept area. So let's go ahead and jump on the computer in order to do that. All right, and here we are at the radiocontrolinfo.com webpage. That's the first thing that you're going to have to do is arrive here at this webpage. The next thing that you'll have to do is to go and hover over the information tab. You will want to then hover over the RC airplane calculators, and then what we're going to be selecting is the RC EDF calculator. So we'll wait for that page to pop up. Once this page has popped up, we are looking at the second calculator on this page, the one that says FSA, fan swept area, and it calculates our exhaust exit diameter. So we can go ahead and enter the two numbers that we ended up measuring just not too long ago. Our inner case diameter is going to work out to 69.4 millimeters. Our outer hub diameter is measured at 30.7 millimeters. So that is the two dimensions that we ended up grabbing. I'll mention again that this is all in done in metric. However, if you work in Imperial, you can also put in those Imperial dimensions here. So once we have our inputs placed into the form, we're going to go ahead and select calculate the exhaust diameter. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And when we arrive at the next page here, we'll end up getting the outputs. So you can see for the diameter of a single output, this is the jet output in the very back of the airplane. This is what you'll want to use in order to get 100% FSA. Of course, FSA is the fan swept area. It's the area where the blades actually exist on the fan itself, on the electric ducted fan. If you're looking for 100% FSA, this is the exit diameter that you'll want to include. For a single outlet, if you have a dual outlet, you are gonna to want to have 44.011 millimeters in terms of that dimension. And you can look at it for other fan swept percentages. If you're looking for something closer to 95, you have the dimension here and so forth. One thing to keep in mind, you cannot have when you enter here a case diameter that is smaller than your outer hub diameter. You'll get an error for that. You'll get an error also if you don't end up putting in the correct dimensions. Um, that really does it for this calculator. It's quite simple. Enter in the information, you get your FSA percentages out, and then you can select the ones that you want to work with, and then you know, go ahead and build up your plane according to those dimensions and you should expect some very good performance from it. Now go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, you know the drill. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.